Today, finally, we're launching GPT-5. That's excellent. So what does it mean? If you're a user being greeted by this screen, what should you expect? Well, let's find out. So you just landed on ChatGPT-5 and you're wondering what's the first three things you should try. Let me save you some time. Initially, don't panic. Your previous chats are still there. The previous models are gone, but your data isn't. Now let's begin. First, test out the enhanced creativity and speed. You'll notice it's a bit snappier and even more creative. Just take a prompt you used before and see how version 5 spins it up a notch. Second, check out any new features or modes. There might be new tools, plugins or styles that weren't there before. So take a minute to explore and customize your chat experience. And finally, revisit some of your old go-to tasks. Whether you used it for brainstorming or writing drafts, try those again and see how version 5 gives them a fresh twist. So if you're a longtime user, dive into these three things and enjoy the upgrade. Let's hear some more about the performance difference. GPT-3 was sort of like talking to a high school student. There were flashes of brilliance, lots of annoyance, uh, but people started to use it and get some value out of it. With GPT-4, maybe it was like talking to a college student. Real intelligence, real utility. But with GPT-5, now it's like talking to an expert, a legitimate PhD level expert in anything, any area you need, on demand, that can help you with whatever your goals are. That's some amazing power. Can you imagine having access to a PhD anytime More. you need it? This is an incredible superpower on demand. It would have been unimaginable at any previous time in history. You get access to an entire team of PhD level experts in your pocket, helping you with whatever you want to do. And anyone pretty soon will be able to do more than anyone in history could. Did you hear that? As long as we have the creativity, we have the ability to be the greatest of all time. They also cut the hallucinations, making it more reliable. What do you think about all this? Let me know in the comment section. Check out my other videos, consider subscribing, and as always, follow the truth.